Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. It is the official last day of the school year for me. My daughter's been off for a couple of days now, but because I'm a teacher, I did get to go in for the last couple of days here, and today was the official last day. It means I am on summer break. I'm so excited because in addition to being able to kind of regroup from the year and um, build new lesson plans for next year and all of that fun stuff that teachers do over the summer, I get to dedicate a little bit more time to not only the YouTube channel, but to creating different vlogs and things like that, things that people have asked me for, and also to continue doing things like the personal shopping. So I am so, so, so excited for that. Um, our next shopping trip is on June 6th for any of you that personal shop with me. So if you are interested in having me pick anything up for you, just get me your list by 5 a.m. June 6th and I will take care of doing your shopping this week. Uh, those of you that are new to the channel, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because we are trying to get all the way up to 700 subscribers this month. I know it doesn't seem like a lot for some of you, but um, it's huge for us, right? We're hovering in that 480 range. So if we could just get all the way up to 700 this month, that would be huge. So we're going to try to come up with some new fun things that we can do on the channel to encourage people to subscribe, but also to encourage you to subscribe. We are going to be doing a another giveaway. I'm trying to climb, climb, climb up to a thousand subscribers. So we will be doing another giveaway. Um, if you'd like to enter for the giveaway, just be a subscriber. If you're a new subscriber, you get three entries for being a new subscriber, one entry just for being an existing subscriber. And then if you'd like additional entries, just comment on each of the videos we upload over the course of the month. So come on along with us for our fantastic YouTube Disney journey. We would be so, so appreciative. Now, in order to celebrate the end of our school year, my daughter and I, a few days ago, a couple weeks ago at this point, actually, as we were getting close to the end of the year, we decided that we would take on a monorail crawl. Now, a traditional monorail crawl would not be appropriate for a 15-year-old teenager, you know, a teenager. But we modified the monorail crawl to a dessert monorail crawl. And oh my goodness, it was so, so much fun to do. So if you think you'd be interested in hearing a little bit about our adventure, just hold on one minute. Sorry about that. I had to adjust the camera a little bit. I don't know what happened. It just started slowly tipping back and it was driving me crazy. So I had to adjust that. So for those of you that have never done any kind of a monorail crawl, it's actually really simple. It's a simple concept. You just like you would do any kind of a crawl, say from when we were in our college uh, days, um, you would hop on board the monorail. We started at Magic Kingdom, but you would hop on board the monorail and you would get off the monorail at each of the three different different resorts that are on the monorail loop. And because we did a dessert monorail crawl uh, at each of those locations, we had to go to the quick service or really any location and get a dessert, something to try, maybe something that we had never had before. Those were kind of the parameters that we set for ourselves. Now, um, you could do it to where you're sharing desserts, everybody could get their own dessert, it's completely up to you. However, you wanna do your monorail crawl, your dessert monorail crawl, but for us, we started off with um, kind of an adventurous take on our dessert monorail crawl where we were both going to get a dessert, a different dessert at each location. And that quickly turned into um, we were sharing because that's a lot of sugar, that's a lot of sweetness. Um, yes, it took us about four hours to do the whole thing, but it was an awful lot. So we'll start at the beginning. We boarded the monorail at Magic Kingdom. We, of course, went to Transportation Ticket Center and took the monorail over to Magic Kingdom. But we got off and then we decided we would start that right at the resort line for the monorails at Magic Kingdom. And that was just a really nice, fun way to kind of kick it off. We got to see the castle, we got to see the train. It was a fun place for us to start. The first stop on the monorail crawl for us was the Contemporary Resort. Now, I love the Contemporary Resort. When we stay there, we always stay at Bay Lake because we're vacation club members. Um, and I do, I, I really love it there. And one of the things that I love most about the Contemporary is the Contempo Cafe. They have the best grilled vegetable panini I have ever had. 
and I love a grilled vegetable sandwich. I just absolutely love grilled vegetables no matter where where you can find them, and they had the best sandwich, but we were on the hunt for fabulous desserts, and boy did we find some fabulous desserts. When we first walked into the Contempo Cafe, we of course were checking out the little, um, uh, box that they have everything in the pastry case that they have everything in and oh my goodness so many wonderful treats to have picked from different cupcakes and there were brownies and a whole bunch of different things what my daughter and I decided to do um, is we were each going to get one item now I had my heart set on the peanut butter pie however um, she had her heart set on getting the cupcake that had the uh, little chocolate monorail stuck into the cupcake. But then she also wanted to have, um, they had a banana caramel cupcake there that had, uh, I cannot remember the name of it, and it'll come back to me as soon as we're done. But it had, it was like a fancy cookie on the top. We always get them, we're in the France Pavilion, and I'm just drawing a blank now. Um, yeah, I'm going to totally, I've totally lost it. That's okay. Um, but so she kind of had her heart set on two cupcakes. And because this was kind of a celebration for the both of us, but really mostly for her, it's been kind of a tough year with the transition here to Florida um, and a new school and all of that. I decided, you know what? I will get the monorail cupcake and you go ahead and get the cupcake that you wanted to get. Um, so my daughter ended up with the banana caramel cupcake. It's a caramel cupcake with banana filling topped with caramel and banana buttercream icing. She let me have a, a taste, of course, as I let her have some of mine, and it was really, really, really good. If it wasn't for the fact that the monorail, the little chocolate monorail was on mine, I think I would have much preferred hers because it was just so good and interesting flavors all kind of mixed in together. My cupcake was the monorail cupcake and that was a vanilla cake filled with cookies and cream filling with cookies and cream and buttercream icing and had that little white chocolate monorail that was kind of sticking out of it. And that's what really kind of made it unique and special. It was a monorail crawl after all, and it just seemed fitting for us to have as one of the first desserts. So I enjoyed that, my daughter also enjoyed it. The problem with the cupcakes, they are very sweet so so sweet so I know that they're sweet and I should have taken that into account because it was so sweet like I was feeling it in my jaw it was that sweet um, so that kind of made it to where we weren't exactly feeling the sweetness for the second stop on the monorail crawl so a little bit of a lesson learned there maybe if uh, we're doing a cupcake again uh, what we'll do is we'll just plan to split it in half so that was our first stop, and it was a great first stop on the monorail dessert crawl. But then we went to the Polynesian, and the Polynesian is my all-time favorite Disney resort. Again, when we stay there, we're vacation club members, so we kind of stay in the vacation club parts of the resort. But I love the smell of that resort. You walk into that lobby and you just get hit with all of those beautiful Polynesian scents. Just an amazing resort. Um, we thought that what we would try to do is to get our hands on that bread pudding that is so famous at the Polynesian Resort. But when we went up to the Tambu Lounge to get it, uh, there was a huge line at the Tambu Lounge. And I just didn't feel like waiting for that. My daughter had said that she really wanted Dole Whip. So um, I love Dole Whip too. So we went ahead and we went down to, uh, let me make sure, to the per Pineapple Lanai. It's right there by the pool area. And it's a great little soft serve location where you can get your Dole Whip. My daughter got the Dole Whip and I thought maybe I'd just have a little bit of hers. Um, but then they had something new. They had something different. And I'm glad that I tried it. I got the Tafiti Cone. And it was basically, it was lime soft serve in a lime cone, wafer cone. And it had a little flower that was stuck into the soft serve. So it was... It was good, it was a lot of lime. It was very, very much filled with lime, as you would expect, I mean, it was described that way. Um, so I'm glad that I tried it. Uh, I don't know that I would have liked it swirled, and I know that they have a swirl right now in Magic Kingdom with the Dole Whip, 
Um, my daughter tried it and she actually asked if we could trade the Dole Whip for the lime. Um, so it was just something good. It was interesting. And what was really nice is it kind of cleansed the palate, so to speak. It almost pulled some of the sweetness that I still had kind of weighing on me from the cupcake over at the Contemporary. It kind of helped to tone that down a little bit. Now, because we were at the Polynesian and it is my favorite, we couldn't just leave. We couldn't hop back on the monorail and continue on. We had to go through all of the shops and of course I was checking out the pins and Stitch is a huge part of the Polynesian so we were checking all of that out and that took a little bit of time and we wandered about and kind of sat and just talked and had a great time at the Polynesian Resort. But then it was time for us to go ahead and to finish up so we made our way back to the monorail over to the Grand Floridian, which is my daughter's favorite resort. She loves the Grand Floridian very much for the same reason, the smell, the ambiance, the um, theming of the resort. She is definitely more uh, that Victorian era and I am definitely more kind of islandy, you know, the, the Polynesian feel. So the Grand Floridian being her favorite was a perfect way for us to end our monorail crawl, but she was pretty much done with the desserts at that point. She did not want any more desserts. So instead what we did is we ended up getting some dinner at, uh, what was the name of it? A Gasparilla Island. That is their quick service. So we got some dinner, just basic sandwiches, and I ended up getting um, some soup, I think it was. But then, because I'm not a quitter, I had to go ahead and get one last dessert for for our dessert monorail crawl. And luckily for me, they had, I think it was my favorite dessert of the entire thing. It was a very simple fresh berry tart. And it was so good. It was sweet enough, but not overpowering. The tart itself was moist, but yet flaky, if that makes any sense. And then the berries were delicious they were absolutely delicious a great way to end the dessert crawl because it really did kind of help to tone down all of those different flavors that we had had throughout the day if you have never tried a dessert crawl, I would definitely encourage you to do that. Now, there are so many different ways that you could do a monorail crawl. You could do a pin trading monorail crawl. You could do the old standby if it's adults only, right? And go for those beverages at each of the resorts. You could do appetizers. You could do any number of different things for monorail crawls. But let's say that you don't have a day of park tickets and you're just looking for something kind of fun to do. You could do a pressed penny monorail crawl if you really wanted to. So utilize all of the different things that are around if you happen to be on Disney property and just trying to kill a little bit of time a few hours here or there a monorail crawl is a great way to do it. I am very grateful that we did the dessert monorail crawl um, mostly because it was great time with my daughter but the um, the monorail crawl was just a nice way for the two of us to spend some bonding time together a little mother daughter time and just kind of be and breathe and reflect on the whole school year. So just a reminder, um, we do personal shopping here at Mickey's Magical Delivery. So again, if you would like me to do any shopping for you this week, just please have me your order by 5 a.m. on June 6th. We are going Thursday this week. Um, so have me your order by 5 a.m. My daughter is going to be helping me from now on so that I can get invoices processed a little bit faster, have an extra pair of hands in the store. And she's pretty good at duck and dodging. Um, she's been trained Black Friday shopping for a few years, so this should be fun to do. Um, but please just let me know. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing so we can hit that ultimately 1,000 subscriber mark for the channel. Until our next video, bye-bye.